Greetings. In this video, we'll discuss an overview of the FY23 Command Center Stand Visit. Your CCST virtual assessment period will start approximately six weeks prior to the on-site portion via Teams or email. You will receive a pre-trip phone call agenda and access to your own unit-specific SharePoint site for uploading documents. The knowledge evaluation, SARPs, and admin portions will all be completed remotely and finished prior to CCST arriving at your unit. On SharePoint, you will select your unit and the fiscal year of your visit. Each unit has folders pre-designated to upload your unit-specific documents. Before going any further, your unit will need to complete and upload the CSV files for remote knowledge assessment. Add all certified, designated wash standards and SMCs to the appropriate CSV files. For dual certified wash standards, add them to the highest wash position CSV file. For CDOs that are also SMCs, Add them to both CDO and SMC CSV files. Maximum participation is required. Complete the designated CSV files for each watch position that applies to your unit to include break-ins. Complete columns Bravo, Charlie, Echo, and Foxtrot. If you have a break-in that will likely be certified designated within the virtual assessment period, add them to both the certified and break-in CSV file. After the pre-trip phone con and your CSV files have been uploaded into SharePoint, you receive an email from the CCST team lead designated for your unit. The email will include instructions for both the proctors and the evaluees and a participation list, which we will talk about shortly. CCST requests the assessments be proctored by unit selected individuals. However, the unit has free reign on designation of proctors. CCST will send you a participation list showing all the individuals compiled from the CSV files. This will contain the username's password to complete KE for your unit. Each user has two attempts at a successful logon. Contact CCST if any issues arise. CCST highly recommends using the two columns on the right to track who has completed the KE and SARS portions of the assessments. Once your virtual assessment window opens, each watch standard or SMC will log into etesting.uscg.mil. Click I agree, then participant logon. Enter the username and password from the participant list and your assessments will appear. Each test has a series of demographic questions before the actual test. Always click next if it is an option before hitting submit. Each test for FY23 is 15 questions and you have one hour to complete. The questions are scenario based using high risk information presented within the national PQS. At completion, the participant will receive immediate results. CCST will compile the results of the certified watch standards and present them during the on site portion of the visit. The participant list has a pre designated startups problem assignment for each OU and CDO and shall be an individual effort. The SARS Proctor instructions will have a link to this site that includes the instructions and the links to one of two different SARS problems. The SARS assessment uses Microsoft Forms and additional instructions will be given to the watch standard. CCST highly recommends not completing the SARS assessment while on watch. The SARS assessment is not timed. However, Proctor should monitor as an active scenario and discourage long durations of completing. Utilize sarpstrain.uscg.mil. If you are unable to connect to the SARPS train server, contact the POCs on the Proctor instructions and notify CCST POC via email. Name your case with your last name underscore CCST. Watch standards are permitted to utilize any QRCs, check sheets, SARPS job aids, and the addendum. Proctors should ensure the integrity of the assessment and discard any used check sheets, QRCs, and scratch papers. The supervisory staff will receive generalized feedback of individual SARPs assessments. During the on-site portion, CCST will conduct a review and training of the two SARPs assessments. On day one of the on-site visit, CCST will conduct scenarios at the unit in a space determined during the pre-trip phone con. Each unit will select two full watch teams based on their normal watch floor construct 
and a unit designated SMC is preferred. CCST recommends using a training officer or officers for scenarios. Each watch standard will require a computer and a phone. Please contact your IT department early to schedule the setup. CCST has developed our scenarios in an effort to create command center drill cards, posted on our portal for use and even practice without CCST being present. The enclosure for scenarios is more information gathering than yes or no type of checks. CCST will utilize missile train during scenarios and discuss further during the pre-trip phone con. The majority of admin items will be uploaded to your unit SharePoint site prior to the CCST on-site visit. CCST will conduct a TMT pool no more than 30 days before the visit. Ensure TMT accurately reflects all certified watch standards prior. CCST will conduct a review of admin checklists and will be in continuous contact for any concerns or issues that need to be resolved. CCST will assess all third-party monitor checks and randomly selects for self-assess. CCST does not check unit monitor items. If any of the four random self-assess are non-compliant, CCST can select to conduct a full scope assessment. CCST will provide KE, SARUP scenario, and admin enclosures as drafts prior to unit departure. CCST will send a formal unit visit report within 30 days via memo, and the unit has 90 days to submit a corrective actions report to address any discrepancies. No report is necessary from the unit if there were no discrepancies. Your unit, CCST POC, can provide templates as necessary. Feel free to reach out to CCST any way possible for additional questions, comments, or concerns via phone or CCST at uscg.mil.